Okay, um, so, Lords of Salem, tell me your thoughts, Danny. Uh, well, you know, I'm really excited for Lords of Salem. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I'm glad that, you know, Rob Zombie is trying something really original with this, you know. And, uh, you know, there hasn't been a scary movie about witches for a really long time, so. Yeah, not since The Witches, starring uh, uh, Rowan Atkinson back in the 80s, Yeah, I there, there was a lot of, you know, like, any, you know, films about witches, like, in the 80s and 90s, but, I mean, there hasn't been a really big one, you know, for a long time. I mean, they, oh, they, yeah, like, like, Witches was really good, though, but... Like, you know, like, an 18A rated R version hasn't been one for quite some time. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so, too. Um, this movie, I guess, like, it's about, like, a radio DJ who unleashes, like, the three witches who put a curse on it. So it's it's, it's similar to Hocus Pocus, like, because before he lights, like, lights like a candle and unleashes three of them who wanted revenge. But it's it's a lot more serious and darker. That was kind of just a comedy. I, I wouldn't I, I, personally. I, I wouldn't compare it to Hocus Pocus um, because uh, I think I think it's going to be a lot different because it looked a lot different. But uh, well, well, the basic the only real comparison is it's three witches yeah. who come back from the dead after being executed and unleashed by an unwitting person. Well, you know the, what I mean? the only comparison I can really see is it has to do with the Salem witch trials. I mean that that was also had to do kind of uh, with um you know the original Hocus Pocus film that was kind of the the premise, right? But yeah. I, I think this is going to be a much darker, grittier version. And oh yeah, without I, a doubt. And I I would never compare it to Hocus Pocus, but but I, I can see why some people would say there's parallels between. It, so. But uh, yeah. I got I gotta say I'm really uh, excited for this film, and I, I think it's gonna be really gritty and really original. I'm glad that he's taking something that historically actually ha happened in you know history and putting his own you know mm -hmm. fantasy twist on it. Like what if the witches were actually real? That's a cool concept. So I think it's gonna be. It's a good concept. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to be one of Rob Zombie's best. I'm, I'm glad that it's like stationary and, and not shaky camera. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Well, like I said before, I'm kind of excited for it because it's like he's doing something different. That's that's my main thing with wanting to see this because he's doing something different. Yeah. That's the reason I really want to see it because because like it has to do with the sandwich trials you haven't had a, like a big huge movie about like witches in a really long time except like the only really thing I can think of witch wise is like a sorcery kind of movie yeah like like the Harry Potter movies but like I'm talking about like Salem witches not like wands and wizards and stuff like that yeah it's just been a really long time it, it has been a really long time and I'm glad that the you know he's He's going to make that dark. Um, you know, again, this is a kind of a tale that's uh, old as time. Like, the whole witch thing goes way back, right? But no, nobody's really um, captured a movie for a long time about this kind of concept. So I, I think it's going to be really cool to see. And I can't wait to see it. I heard it's coming out early 2013. I, that's what I heard, you know. And um, mm -hmm. I'm... I thought it was supposed to come out this year, but he, he needs to work on it a bit more. Yeah, he's got his tours it, and that. It said maybe fall 2012 or early 2013, so we'll just have to wait and see when uh, the actual release date is. But yeah, yeah fall fall 2012 is kind of crowded. I kind of hope he does it like earlier in the year, so we get something like because there's not really much early in the year yeah. when it comes to films. Yeah, totally. And, and, you know, like, this is probably going to be one of his most original concepts, I would have to say. And, I mean, when you when you walk down, you know, the street on Halloween, you're going to see, like, people with, like, Michael Myers costumes, right? But, like, you're not going to be scared if somebody comes 
to your house with like a witch hat on, right? But like maybe because he's making this film, people are actually going to be more afraid of witches, you know? Maybe it's going to bring that whole fear factor in again. Because, you know... <laughs> oh, yeah, because that fear factor... The fear factor's died. It, it's dead. Like, yeah. there's... Yeah, people, it, people just gave up on it. Yeah, and, like, it, it's kind of like... When you see somebody in a witch costume, you just kind of laugh. It's like seeing clown, right? But, like, yeah. if, you, if you see somebody in a Michael Myers costume or a Freddy costume, you're like... Your, your eyes are big. You're like, whoa, this guy's at my house trick-or-treating, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, if... They can, if he can make um, witches scary again, that would be totally sweet. I mean, make it actually, like, a horror thing. It yeah. It could be a lot of, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, a lot, maybe this could open a whole new market for the horror genre. I just want to thank you so much, JT is Reborn, for uh, coming on my show. It, it was really great having you. Zombie, I think... He has a lot of talent. Um, he doesn't really get as much respect as mm -hmm. or credit, I'd say, as people like can give him. I mean, maybe it's because he's his only real films are like the two Halloween remakes, and people yeah, have, like their ideas. What well, they wanted those, and then he's got uh, his his Devil's Rejects, House of Thousand Corpses. Those were pretty well received, I'd say. But maybe it's just, I think it's just I don't know. Maybe people just like him for his music. But anyways, um. I'm hoping with uh, Lords of Salem that he, he get this is gonna be like his big broad film that everyone will hopefully enjoy because it's gonna be a lot different than what he's what we're used to seeing. Uh, this is a weird comparison, but it's like Tim Burton when he made the first Batman movie. That's a lot different than his other films, and that one was pretty well received. Yeah. See, it, it's good when filmmakers go like bridge themselves off into a bunch of different categories and. Hopefully with Lords of Salem, we can hope that it'll be pretty good. I think it's a totally original concept, and I, I can't wait to see it. And thanks so much for being on my show. No problem. I love discussing films.